On the comparison screen, as well as selecting two videos to compare, you can actually play sequences of videos. And you notice there's a left column and a right column here. And this is where you can actually pick the elements that you wish to see in which sequence. So for instance, I'll just do them randomly here. So I can say I want to see this one, followed by this one, followed by this one here. Right, so I've made my selections on the left, and I can do any number, just click on it again. If I want to uh, change it, I just click on it again and come back down. You see the click will bring it back up, and you can pick different ones. So you can click the items, it will take it away again. So I click on it, one, two, and let's see, three right here. And then over here we're going to say, well, I'd like to see the right hand side, I'd like to see this one first. They're completely different, just so you can see the big difference here. Right? And let's say I do the... Uh, the side and get next year. Right, so you can see I've got it in different sequence here. And now I can play it. There's two different options you can do here. This is the sequence control area up here. Um, what I can do is I can say step through. So I click on this. It's going to play the first one for both sides. So we're stepping through it. You can see it's giving you that information there. Then it moves on to the second one. It's stopped because it stopped at that. I play that. Now I'm seeing the second one. So in the left hand side, I'm seeing the side and get next. And in the right, I'm seeing the uh, buff size. Now, when it finishes, it moves on to the next one, preparing for the next one. And I step through that again. See, so now we're watching the three here. So you here you can pick sequences of elements so you can see side by side, rather than just doing uh, two, two elements together here. Now, if you want to play the whole thing, you can just click on the play. And it'll just run through it in its own time. So you see number one, now it moves... A little bit difference in time there, you can see it jumping as the different elements finish. Um, you can obviously uh, reset here, which will just put everything back to the beginning and then play again. Right, or we can stop it. Or we can clear them all. Click on clear and ask you whether you want to clear it and it will clear away your selection right here. So this is very useful, the sequence control, if you want to play a specific sequence of elements. Uh, to see what they look like, perhaps for training purposes or something you're thinking of putting together uh, to put out onto the floor.